Hi, I'm student videographer Paula Humby here to take you on a sneak preview of the tours that will be given this year at the University of Alberta's Alumni Weekend. So you're going to be leading a tour for Alumni Weekend. Um, could you tell us a bit about where you're going and what kind of pieces of art we'll be seeing? What we're doing is uh, we're going to take people on a tour that will hit some highlights of the University of Alberta Art Collection. We have a number of spots where we'll be taking people, including to where this exhibit is in the TELUS Centre at the University. What this exhibit is is a variety of works that explores the idea of using a QR code as access for information on the work, so it's a bit of an experiment. We'll also be exploring some of the more major outdoor pieces that are visible on campus and probably the Prince Study Centre where we house the strength of our collection, a large collection of contemporary international. We're here in the rehearsal hall of the Tim Centre for the Arts with David Presley. What exactly goes on in the rehearsal hall? Uh, well, we're just wrapping up a clown workshop that takes place every summer in the rehearsal hall. And uh, this is a room that's also used for rehearsing uh, studio theatre productions as well as uh, voice workshops, uh, movement workshops. Can you tell us a little bit about the Tim stage? We can seat 289 in the, the main theatre, uh, but the stage itself, you would probably see this size of a stage in a house that was maybe three times the size. So what are some of the special features that the stage has? Uh, we have uh, traps underneath, so uh, this this floor, we can we can put elevators into it, we can put drops, uh, people can disappear underneath the stage. We have a very small uh, orchestra pit, uh, so we can do uh, a Broadway musical in here, and uh, so it's, it's, uh, it provides us with lots of opportunities. All right, so we're now in the prop shop. What goes on back here? Anything that an actor has to uh, use on stage, uh, whether it's uh, a hand prop or a piece of furniture, a weapon, or anything like that that, that uh, an actor or performer would be using on stage, is built or refit in here. So uh, Ron, our props master, will put together anything that's needed on stage. And now we're here at the Paleontology Museum in the Earth Sciences Building. So let's take a look around. The very first thing you probably will notice is uh, the uh, giant skull that's behind this. This is actually the skull of uh, a fish, if you'd believe it or not. This thing would probably have extended about 15 feet in back. A lot of people would not uh, know it immediately, but uh, fossils are more than just uh, bones of dinosaurs and fish. They could also be things like uh, tree trunks. Uh, there's also things like footprints. Uh, this is uh, our fossil of the uh, flying dinosaur. So this came from Kansas and it was discovered in 1974. Uh, the sample itself is uh, Cretaceous in age, so it's about 300 million years. So be sure to check out this year's Alumni Weekend from September 22nd to 25th.